A busy weekend for Ocean City Police. A popular annual car show ends with thousands of calls for service, dozens of arrests, including a man who nearly ran police over with his car. WJZ is live. Jonathan McCall has more on the chaos in Ocean City. Jonathan. Vic, even though organizers canceled the H2OI car show two weeks ahead of time, it didn't stop thousands of folks from flocking to Ocean City over the weekend, bringing money for businesses and mayhem for police. From the air, you can see the greeting left behind from thousands of car enthusiasts who revved their way to Ocean City this past weekend for the H2OI car show. The event that showcases souped up Audis and Volkswagens kept Ocean City police busy. From Thursday to Sunday, police responded to more than 2,700 calls for service for things like assault and disorderly conduct. It's a 7% hike from last year. People in town describe the crowd as rowdy. The screaming and the yelling and they're just cussing. It, there was just some foul, foul things that went on to, over the weekend. Calling the crowds unruly, police say that the weekend was marred with violence. Officers arrested 78 people, including Antonio Ambrosino. Police say that late Saturday night, he hit a deputy and an Ocean City police officer with his car. Police later arrested him and his passenger. It's a two-sided sword, whether you have the business really well and have to deal with what went on in Ocean City. Some businesses say while they don't welcome the mayhem from the event, the money that comes with it helps drive their bottom line. Me as a server, or us as a server, we go home with good money. So, yeah. I mean, it's good for our pockets. Ambrosino and his passenger face a number of charges in connection to that incident, the most serious of them attempted murder. Reporting live tonight, Jonathan McCall, WJZ Eyewitness News. Jonathan, thank you. Police say they're preparing for another car show this weekend and plan to work with city leaders on new policies to prevent this from happening in the future.